Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, the Other Blocks Trading Group. Here we trade the markets using the other blocks, market structure, and institutional order flow. We like to keep things simple. The forex market is hard enough. So guys, please try to keep things simple. Simplify your trading system so that you won't give yourself a lot of headache. Right, and if you are new here, please consider subscribing and hit the notification bell icon so that anytime we post a new video like this, you'll be notified about it. And if you like this content, please don't forget to give us a like. Comment and share with your friends and families. All right, having said that, let's go right in. In today's educational video, we want to look at the easiest way to trade the other blocks. The easiest way to trade the other blocks. When we are talking about trading the financial market or the forex market in particular, we are essentially trading structure and shift in market structure. That's all we are trading in the forex market. Structure and shift in market structure. So you need a good understanding of structure for you to become successful in trading the forex market. When we talk about structure, we are talking about something like this. Take a look. Now, this is what you want to see in the market. In, in, in the case of an uptrend, this is what you want to see. Now, market has broken the structure high here to create a new higher high and where is the low that gave rise to this break of structure it is this low here so this is your high this is your high and this is your low this is your trading range guys Immediately you see this break of structure and you can identify your high. You can identify your low. This is your trading range. The high between this swing high and this swing low is your trading range for that particular period. Your eyes should go into this place to look for buy opportunities. Do you understand? Your eyes should go there to look for buy opportunities. Now, your other block should be sitting at the discount zone of this range. What do we mean by the discount zone? Once you mark out your highs and your low like this, I said this is your trading range. Use your feet. If you are a new trader, use your feet to measure between the low and the high. Now, your FIP should give you 50%, which is your equilibrium. Now, anything below the 50% of this range is a discount zone. But the more effective discount zone where you can take your other blocks from my own back testing is you take the other block that is at the extreme here to the ex extreme your other block that is at the extreme of the discount zone i told you anything below the 50 percent of your fib two is a discount zone anything above the 50 percent of your fib measurement is what is known as the premium price so you buy at discount and you sell at premium please take note of what i'm saying it is very important this is your trading range this is where your eyes should come to immediately you can identify a break of structure and you can identify your high and your low this is where your focus should be between this place is where your focus should be and your other block 
should be sitting because this is a bullish structure. Your other block should be sitting at the discount zone. I cannot emphasize that enough. Once price comes into this, your other block and breaks this structure here again to the upside, your trading range will now be at that high and the low. And your focus now should be within the new range. I cannot emphasize this enough. That is essentially what we trade in the markets. That's what we trade in the markets. Now, let's continue. Now, let me make some statements about other blocks. How to identify a strong other block. I've said so before in our previous video, but let me emphasize it here again. Now, a strong other block, please take note of this, the correct other block that we hold has four important characteristics. Please mark these things out, four important characteristics. Take note of these things. The number one important characteristics that you want to find in a strong order block that can hold price is that order block must be in line with the overall market structure. What do I mean by that? If the market structure is telling you is showing you a bearish move. What you should be looking for, the other block you should be looking for, is bearish other blocks. If you don't know what other blocks are, please check out our previous videos. In a downtrend, you want to look for bearish other block in line with the overall trend which is down. If the structure of the market shows you an uptrend, what the other block you should be looking for is bullish other block in line with the overall market trend. That is the number one most important thing to know the other block that you hold. If you go and take another block in a bullish market, you go and look for a bearish other block and mark a bearish other block in a bullish move. Be sure that price will blow through your other block. So the, the first most important characteristics of, a, of an other block that we hold price is it must be in line with the overall market structure. Number two, it must take liquidity. Make sure it takes liquidity. I told you we are trading two patterns in the market. Two patterns for the uptrend, two patterns for the downtrend. I have shown you that one before. So you go to our previous videos to look for that. That's the part, those are the patterns we trade. Now, the second most important characteristics of an other block that we hold price is for it to take, to collect liquidity. If you want to, you need to be very selective in how you trade the other block's strategy. You need to be very, very selective. You need to wait. You need to wait. You need to wait. Sorry, guys. You need to wait for an other block that collects liquidity. You don't trade anything you see in the market. You need to be very selective. Your second most important characteristics of an other block that you hold price is that it needs to collect liquidity. Number three important characteristics of an other block that we hold price, very important, is that it has 
to have an imbalance. If you don't know what an imbalance is, must have an imbalance. Your other block must have an imbalance. If you find an imbalance around your other block, that is a high probability other block. Let me show you what I mean by an imbalance. Look at this diagram here. An imbalance consists of three candles like this. One, two, three. Now, it doesn't matter the color of the candle. Now, you, if you like, there can be wicks on these candles. But essentially, what we are talking about is that the wick of this, this is, let's label it, this number one, this number two, and this number three. Now, the wick of this number three candle, as you can see, is not touching the wick of this number one candle here. Can you see? The wick of this number three candle is not touching the wick of this number one candle. Leaving a gap in between this red candle that you are seeing and this small green candle here, there is a gap there. That gap is what is known as imbalance or, if you like, price inefficiency. But we do not trade imbalance on its own. We trade imbalance with other blocks. Whenever you see an imbalance around your other block, it becomes a high probability other block. So that is the number three characteristics of an other block that we hold price. Now, the number four characteristics of an other block that we hold price is to see a move, a strong move away from that other block. A strong push away from that other block that breaks structure. A strong move away that breaks structure. For instance now, if we look at this now, you find out that this is a break of structure. This is a high and this is a low. Can you see? Now, look at this long red candle here. This is what we call an imbalance. Now, this, your other block here, is this blue candle. This is your other block. If you mark this other block out, you will discover that price at a point in time will come back to this very imbalance here, to fill up this imbalance and drop into this other block before reacting. Very important. When you have an imbalance around your other block, it makes that other block a high probability other block. I cannot emphasize that enough. Because I've received lots of messages from traders asking how to know exactly the other blocks that we hold price. Take note of these four major characteristics of an other block that can hold price. All right, having said that, let's go into the easiest way to trade the other blocks. I told you we are essentially trading in the market structure and shift in structure. I've shown you that before. Now let's go right in. Now take a look at this. Take a look at this. Price came from down here. It has been making lower lows, lower high, lower lows, lower high, and got to this point. This is our last lower high. Market broke that lower high to the upside and created this swing high here. So where is the swing low? This is the swing low here. So this is our trading range. Like I told you before, this is our trading range. Your eyes should come immediately into this range here to look for your opportunity to take price up. Inside between this swing high and this swing low is where your focus should be. 
And remember what I told you. Your, in your trading range, your other block should be sitting in the discount zone in the case of a bullish move. Your other block should be sitting at the discount zone. And remember what I told you. How do you determine a discount zone if you are a new trader, if you are a newbie? It's for you to use your FIP tool and draw it from the swing low to the swing high. Your 50% is your equilibrium. Anything below the 50% is a discount zone. But I told you that you, your other block, the best other block is found at the extreme, particularly if you find an imbalance around that other block. It is a high probability other block. So this is your swing high. This is your swing low. If price breaks the swing low here, if price breaks the swing low here, it means we might start looking for sell opportunities. This horizontal line here is your, is your point of invalidation. So this is your swing high, this is your swing low, and this is your break of structure. So your eyes should be looking for buy opportunities within this very range. This is what is known as range, trading range. We are not talking about the consolidator, consolidation type of range. We are talking about your trading range. We are talking about your trading range. Do you understand? Now, what you need to do is to wait and see for price to break either the swing high or the swing low. That's what you need to do. That's what you need to do. Now, price moves. Let's see what price we do next. Let's see what price we do next. Now, look at it. Price has broken our swing high. Look at it. It has broken the swing high to form a new higher high. This is our new higher high now. Look at our new higher high. Now, where is our low, our new higher low that caused this break of structure? It is this low here. Look at my cursor. It is this low here. All these ones don't matter because they never had the strength to break this high here. It was this swing low here that had the strength to break this high here. Can you see that? So this is our new swing low, which is our higher low. You do not mark a higher low until there is a break of structure. So this is the low that caused this break of structure here to the upside to form this new higher high. Now, this is our new higher high. It's our new high. This is our new low. This is our new trading range, I told you. Your swing high and your swing low is your trading range that you need to focus on. That is the zone you need to look at, to focus on. So this is our new swing high and this is our new swing low. I told you your OB should be the OB that is at the extreme within that your trading range. Please try and understand these things very well. So you mark out your OB at the extreme. If you are a newbie, use your FIP tool to mark from the low to the high. Your 50% is the equilibrium. Anything below the equilibrium is a discount price. And anything above it is a premium price. Your duty is to look at the swing high and the swing low. Now, if price breaks this swing low, this higher low here to the downside, this purple line, this horizontal line you are seeing here, is your point of invalidation. If price breaks that point and closes below it, that means we might start looking for sell opportunities. But for now, price is breaking the highs. So we are in a bullish 
move. So we continue. We want to see if price breaks the low here, then we need to start looking for sell opportunities. But if it breaks the high, then we continue with the uptrend. Look at it. Now, look at price has broken the high again. Price has broken the high again. This is our new high now. And where is our new low? This is our new low. This is the low that was strong enough to break the structure. Not any of this here. Not any of this. This didn't have the power to break structure. This was the one that broke structure. So this is our new higher low. And this is our new higher high. This is your trading range. This is our high. This is our low. That's your trading range, guys. That's your trading range. And I told you, within this your trading range, your other block should be sitting at the extreme. And price didn't come back to this other block here. Instead, price went ahead and broke structure to the upside again. Look at it. Structure has been broken to the upside. So we now have a new higher high. This is our new higher high. Now, where is the low that caused this break here? This is the low that had the power. This low here is the one that had the power to break this structure here to the upside. So we now have a new higher high and a new higher low. Between this higher high and this higher low, this swing high and this swing low is your trading range. So you look for your other block within that trading range. Now, price didn't break the structure up here. Rather, price came down and broke this structure low here. This higher low. Can you see? Price broke the structure to the, to the downside. Can you see? Now, when price broke the structure to the downside, this is our new low now. This is our new low. Look at my cursor. This is our new low now. And this still remains our high, our swing high. This is our new swing low because market has broken structure here. This is our high. This is our low. And this is the break of structure. So where we are looking for now, are we going to start looking for sales now? No, because we have to wait for price to break the structure the second time. We told you, wait for double break of structure to determine a new trend. So structure has only broken once. And until this structure here is broken again, we are still in an uptrend, guys. We are still in an uptrend. We want to see what will happen to the swing high here or to the swing low here. If price breaks this swing low to the downside again, that means we start looking for buy or I mean for sell opportunities. So let's roll on. Let's roll on. Let's roll on. Price has not broken. Price is still consolidating in between the swing high and the swing low. Now, let's roll. Let's see where what price will do. Look at it. Price broke the structure here to the upside. Price broke the structure here to the upside. Can you see? This is our new swing high. It's our new high now. And where is the low that gave rise to this break of structure? It is this low here. This is the low that had the power. Not any of this. Not this. Not this. Not all of this. Not any of this. This is the low that had the power to break this structure to the upside. So this is our new high. And this is our new low. Your other block is the most extreme other block, like I have explained before. Now, but price didn't come to this our other block. Rather, price broke the structure again to the upside and created a new higher high. Look at, it created a new higher high. And where is the low that broke this structure here to the upside? This is the low. This is the low. Look at my cursor. This is the low. This is our new higher low. And this is our new higher high. This is not 
the higher low. This was not the higher. This is not the higher low. This is the higher low because this is the low that had the strength, the power to break the structure here to the upside. So now this is our new high. This is our new low. Our OB should be sitting at the extreme of this your trading zone. This is your trading new trading zone now. Do you understand, guys? This is your new trading zone. This is the way I trade, and this is the way I know many professionals who trade the Forex, who trade the other block strategy trade. So this is our new high, and this is our new low. But price came. Look at what price did. Price now came and broke this, our previous higher low here, to the downside. It broke it to the downside. Now, should we begin to look to sell now because it has broken structure to the downside? No. You need a double break of structure to determine whether we are in a new trend. Now, if you look at the market, the market has pulled back again and broken the structure again the second time. Look at it. It broke structure here again. Look at my cursor. It broke structure here again, which is the double. The first one was here. And it broke this one here again, which is the double break of structure. And so we can safely start looking for sell opportunities. Now, does it mean that every OB that is sitting at the extreme of our trading range is going to hold? No. There is nothing set in stone when it comes to Forex. Nothing is set in stone. But we are trading probabilities here, my friends. We are trading probabilities. We are saying the highest probable order block sits at the extreme of your trading range. And that is the way you should be trading the order block strategy as easy as that. Simple. You don't need to overcomplicate things. As simple as that. Follow the highs and the lows. If it is in a downtrend, follow the highs and the lows. Mark out your highs and lows. Your highs and lows are your trading ranges. Guys, don't make it any harder. It's as simple as that. Simple as that. I hope this video helps to clear up some things. And I hope you enjoyed it. But guys, one more thing. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And hit the notification bell icon. So that anytime we post a new video, you'll be notified. And guys, please... If you enjoy the content of this video, give us a like, comment and share with your friends. In so doing, you encourage us to make more educational videos like this. Alright guys, I wish you a very successful week ahead. Thank you.